My name is Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your video editing, hints, tips, tricks and more. And here in this video, we're going to be talking about a plugin which is available at lenoeffects.com. It's a great website and the plugin that we're talking about is a text message plugin that is available for free. <laughs> So what we're going to do here in this video is I'm basically going to share my screen with you so you can see the plugin in action on the back end on Final Cut Pro 10 so you can see how it works and so we can go through it together so that you can see how the plugin works, if it's good, if it's bad and then we can make our judgment on things that go wrong with the plugin so that we can provide some context to the creators or to a community of editors that need your opinion and that's the reason why I need you to get down in the comment section down below so we can help other video editors that come along to the video. Ultimately what we're doing here with videos like this is trying to provide context to those who are encountering these applications and plugins for the first time or are encountering plugins that they might want to purchase or something that they might want to purchase to help them with their video editing and your comments help those viewers. So without further ado let's have a look at this plugin in action within Final Cut Pro 10 to see if it's good or bad. Let's go. Okay, so here we are on Final Cut Pro 10. I've already launched the project, and as you can see, I've been into my titles, and I've typed, begin, began to type text message. Now, this will bring up the Leno FX text message plugin. Now, we're using the free version, so we can only create one text message at a time. But as you already know, I am proactive, so I know how to create more than one. But we're not going to do that here. You can actually ask me down in the comment section. I'll just, I'll just walk you through how to do that. Or make another video but for now we're just going to show you how this plugin works so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over the top of our stock footage clip that we have here as you will see the text message begins to populate here in the preview screen in the display screen I'm going to just come in a little bit closer and you can see that we have a date a text message and the name with a display picture being given uh, right there Sarah M is the person who's doing this text message uh, we can actually change that text to whatever you like uh, for example if I click into the the uh, text format here here is the text that is being displayed in the text message we can delete that and we can write whatever we want we can write hello hello bro so we just typed hello bro uh, for the uh, name I think you actually have to go to the uh, generated part of the plugin. Let's have a look. Yes, I was correct. You can actually do that for the uh, actual text message as well. Um, but you can actually uh, change the parameters of this date. This doesn't actually have to have a date in it. You can literally just put date and you can put whatever you like. 7th, 6th, 90, uh, <laughs> for example. Um, so that can be however you like. There is no um, intro introduction for that either, but you can actually turn that on and off. You don't have to have a you don't have to have a date on your text message. Uh, edit text viewer. I don't actually use this. Uh, I've never used it. Um, I don't know exactly what it does. Maybe if we put the text on and we click it again. I'm not sure, 100% sure what that does. Maybe you can experiment around with it and then let me know down in the comment section what that uh, check mark does for you there. Then of course you can change the name into dude. <laughs> um, we can also uh, pick a picture for the display picture of the text message just there. So for example, if we pick this uh, clip here, whether it will play a video, I'm not sure. But let's uh, apply the clip. There we have it. It's applied a clip. We can actually change the uh, content scale, so the size of that within the shot. Now let's play the unrendered version of the text message, so we can see exactly how it looks on screen. Looking good. Looking brilliant. Absolutely love the way that looks. Uh, it has an outro as well, which is absolutely brilliant quick easy to use no problems with it you can change colors you can you can there's quite a few things you can do with this um, again it just requires your imagination to just take it one step further you can change the background of the text messages there as well really easy to use 
uh, self-explanatory as well um, can you change the background shape no it doesn't give us the option to change the background shape that might be something that's available in the full version of this plugin but there we have it guys a really quick easy plugin to use what do you think of this plugin you can also move it around on screen as well you don't have to have it in that one place you can put it wherever you like um, it's quite cool um, can we change the size of the shape of the uh, shape of the text message yes we can as you can see i'm messing around with the x-axis there and you can mess around with the y-axis to make it tall wide however you like it oh yes this is a brilliant free plugin for final cut pro 10 definitely worth the download so there we go, that is the plugin in action. What do you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Could it be improved? What do you think about the plugin? We want to know down in the comment section down below. I want to know what you think of these plugins. If you enjoyed this video in whatever shape or form, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos about these sort of things as I upload daily. So whether it's a plugin that can help you with your video editing or a tutorial to help you with your video editing or something about stock footage and so on you can look through my channel i am uploading daily i have so much content for you and you don't want to miss a single one because i will be giving away absolute knowledge for free and other things for free so it's a good reason to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell here on anthony allen edits so before we leave, let's have a look at some of the bloopers and mistakes that I've made while recording this video. So without further ado, we're going to have a look at this plugin in action within Final Cut Pro 10 to see if there's anything that goes wrong or right with the plugin so that people can understand how to use the plugin and if they want to waste their time. No <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Three, two, one, go.